All right, so we are going to be removing the window tint on the front windows of this car today. So this is gonna be a quick video. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do it, what you're gonna need. We ain't gonna waste no time, let's get right to it. So basically, this is all you're gonna need. You have a heat gun, some sort of window cleaner. This is all I have. You probably want some Windex or something like that, and then some paper towels. Hopefully, we won't need the window cleaner too much. If we heat it up enough with this, I'll show you what I mean in a second. Also, of course, you're gonna need a razor blade. All right, so unfortunately, the top of this window is not exposed. Closed, so we are going to have to roll it down a little bit to get to where we need to go all right so since the top of this window is not exposed it is going to make things a little more difficult but that's okay i'm going to show you guys exactly what you need to do so first we're going to start by heating up the film and that's going to allow us to get under that tint and hopefully not leave much of the sticky residue behind for us to clean up after we're done taking the tint off now normally you would start at the corner of the window, but as I said before, since the top of that window is not exposed, we're not gonna be able to do that. So basically what you're gonna wanna do, depending on your car, your window, you just find an area where you're able to get underneath that tint and pull it off to one of the two corners. So as you can see here, once I got it heated up enough, I'm just using the razor to get underneath that film, trying my best not to cut through the film. That way I have enough of it to allow me to pull it off. And once you have it to this point, if you have something else you could get under there with that's gonna allow you to kind of get a little further without cutting it, I would advise you to do that. So once you have enough of it and you're able to start pulling it, you just continue to heat it up while you're pulling it off. Being careful not to burn yourself, of course. I found that heating it up from the top as opposed to the bottom worked a little better for me. And as you can see, we're getting it pretty clear. There is a little bit of residue, but not too much. And basically you just work it to one of the corners. I decided to go to this corner here and I just continue to slowly pull it off as I'm heating it up at the same time. Just take your time with it, don't rush. You wanna make sure not to tear the film at all. And especially once you get to the bottom because it is tucked in there pretty good. If you end up tearing it, it's gonna be pretty hard to get that film out of there. So just take your time, make sure you're heating it up as you go. Apply a little bit of pressure. You know you're not gonna be able to do this without applying any pressure, but just don't apply too much to where you're gonna rip the film. As you can see, working it off little by little, I decided to go to this corner. I found it was easier to pull it from the bottom at that corner. And as you can see, it's coming off pretty easily here. And boom, there you have it. Tint is removed. As you can see, wasn't much residue left behind. So when it comes to the cleaning, we'll go back to this window because I did mess up a little when I was doing this one. And as you can see, it left behind a good amount of residue. All you're gonna wanna do is spray it with whatever window cleaner you have and then take that razor and carefully scrape off the rest of that residue. Should come off pretty easily. Just make sure you get enough of that window cleaner on there, use as much as you need and then wipe it down, see what you got left and continue to use the razor until you don't need to anymore. Once you're done with that, that's pretty much it. That's the simplest way that I found to remove window tint. Hopefully this works for you. If you guys found this useful, subscribe for more content, drop a like, I appreciate it. I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one.